the case brought. Now, actually, actually it was Anatoly Karpov playing <laughs> Boris Spassky. Anyway, so after 11 moves, uh, Anatoly Karpov lost his queen to a previous world champion. And all the press, international press, are at this world championship game and watch the, the challenger against the world champion lose a queen in 11 moves. And no one could believe it. How could he lose a queen in 11 moves? It's unheard of. Because these guys play at a, at a highly professional level. So, Boris Spassky is absolutely stunned. He can't believe he's won a queen in 11 moves. And he's so stunned, he actually stumbles, falters for a couple of moves. Doesn't know what to do. <laughs> and Anatoly Karpov just pushes a few pawns and he managed to snaffle a pawn and he managed to snaffle another pawn. Remember all your games? Well, I'll, I'll show you a really funny game. Look at you in my life. That guy that I gave the four pieces and he had the three pawns. I decided that I'd give him a chance to win, so I said to him, Look, Laurie, mm -hmm. you're leaving in a couple of days. Here's a big chance for you. I'm going to show you a new opening. It's called the Marmalade. Yes. <laughs> I saw 400, is that on purpose? Yep. Okay. Oh, you're on 80 though. See, this doesn't need to be going because this is a lot of hard drive space. I need it. Okay. I needed it and now he's acting exactly like I wanted. <laughs> it's perfect. It does look pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I want it. Peacefully <laughs> contemplated. It does look pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Peacefully and contemplated. Yep. Whenever you're ready, you can uh, take your time. Okay. You're still contemplating, as you're saying. And uh, wait, let me just interrupt. Are these color balanced properly? Is that how you want the color on here? Okay. When when I've looked at permaculture, organic horticulture, and the corporate world of agriculture, I've actually realized there's two competing forces. There's the Edible Chemical Corporation, who are basically run by lawyers and public relations experts, and it's Green November, who are run by people genuinely interested in organic horticulture, permaculture, and green organics. The problem is that the Edible Chemical Corporation are funded by big business, big money, drug companies, chemical companies, and it's their job to persuade you that their products are healthy, sustainable, and long-term are going to be healthy healthy for, for, your, for your children. Whereas in actual fact, the real truth lies with Green November, who know that organics is the way to go, and if you want to build um, healthy kids, intelligent kids, kids who can learn, they've got to be fed properly, they've got to have the right nutrition and long term are going to be healthy healthy for, for, your, for your children. The real truth lies with Green November who know that organics is the way to go and if you want to build um, healthy kids, intelligent kids, kids who can learn, they've got to be fed properly, they've got to have the right nutrition. Chief Public Hang Relations on. Expert, Captain Brainwash. Hang on, stop. Okay. So lay back and 
easy focusing okay and you got an idea okay okay when you walk into the supermarket and you say to yourself what's healthy to feed my children or to feed feed myself the answer probably is actually nothing because the majority of the food in the supermarket is irradiated genetically modified full of aspartame a um, raised with uh, inorganic herbicides and pesticides so in actual fact when a person walks to the supermarket, I mean, what really is healthy? If you look at the labels, nothing's healthy. Or you can go across the road to an organic shop and buy organic food that's been raised with people using permaculture principles, organic horticulture, and eat healthy food with lots of nutrition, lots of vitamins and minerals. Unfortunately, the Edible Chemical Corporation have got a big PR machine behind them, lawyers, public consultants, people involved, and basically brainwashing you into believing that that can of uh, soft drink or that junk food is healthy for you. Well, in actual fact, the Green November machine have got people who logically know that, that it's not healthy for you, wouldn't feed that to people, but the fact is the majority of people on this planet have got no choice. They walk into a supermarket and they buy food straight off the, off the shelf. People are dying of leukaemia and cancer, eating genetically modified rice and food that's been irradiated. and the Edible Chemical Corporation will have you believe that it's healthy for you. When in actual fact, it's like a game of chess. Who's going to win? In the long term, let's say the year 2100, who's going to win? Is Green November going to win? Or is the Edible Chemical Corporation going to win? Because in the year 2100, if the Edible Chemical Corporation win this game of corporate chess, people will, there won't be anyone left on this planet. We'll probably be dead or we'll weigh about 25 stone. So who's going to win? Well, on the opening salvo, the Edible Chemical Corporation send out their PR consultants, send out their lawyers, send out their research scientists who are paid by big business, send out their bankers who've got a vested interest in seeing the chemical companies make a lot of money. And in the opening variation, the Sharansky variation, the Edible Chemical Corporation are on the rampage. Green November have got no answer. They're made up of peasants, small farmers, people who are involved in the organic horticulture movement who haven't got big money behind them. They don't know how to fight back. So slowly the, the lawyers and the public relations and the consultants and the scientists who have got um, research, research grants to basically pedal propaganda are starting to win. In this game of chess, as people start dying of cancer and the real, the real truth about irradiated food starts to appear, Green November fights back. And they start showing photographs and data and real data about what the Chem Edible Chemical Corporation are doing to the, the, the global health of, of the world and slowly start to convince the public and start to, to prove that the public relations consultants and lawyers have been lying for years. People are dying and slowly some of the public relations consultants from the Edible Chemical Corporation actually are won over by the Green November and slowly but surely Green November starts to push back with the the Tunguska Fianchetto. And in this game of global chess, this is deadly serious, this game of chess, because the health and future of basically this planet relies on the Green November winning this battle. And as the Green November slowly start to persuade members to cross the cross the floor of the, of the of the house, as it were, the Green November, the Green Machine starts to gather momentum. And the Edible Chemical Corporation and all their junk food and the irradiated food and all their data are basically debunked and they're scattered and the green machine, green November, basically starts to win the day and the health of the planet basically it relies on the future of green November destroying the lies of the public relations consultants, the lawyers, the false data and actually persuading people that the organic horti permaculture and horticulture movement is going to be sustainable in the long term. It's going to produce healthy, vibrant kids. It's going, to, it's going to produce kids that aren't suffering from diabetes and all sorts of cancers and what have you, because basically this, this propaganda machine here is basically peddling death. And so it's actually very important that Green November wins the day. And I think when this game of chess is actually finished, I think you'll find that Green November um, the logic and the truth will win the day. And at the, at the end of the day, it'll be checkmate to Green November. Amen.